What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we're going to be conducting some very interesting tests. Now we've all seen laptop claims when you go into the stores or you look online that say laptops are rated for 22 hours of battery life, 18 hours of battery life. Now we all know that's not what our regular experience usually is, but Intel has a new standard that's part of their Project Athena innovation program and within this program Intel is co-engineering laptops with a bunch of different manufacturers to promise a certain experience. So we've got a checklist of claims that we're going to be testing out and we're going to be doing this with this guy over here the Lenovo C940. And just so you guys know when you're shopping around and you're looking for a laptop that's part of the program and you're going to want to look for this specific visual identifier that shows that it's part of the Project Athena program. As you can see, based on the packaging that this thing came in, Intel's making a considered effort into making sure people know which laptops are part of the program. So make sure you look for that visual identifier whenever you're shopping around for a laptop. Now the first claim is a bit of an easy one. All of the laptops part of the program feature Intel's latest processor, so you're guaranteed to get Intel's latest and fastest processor in a thin body like what you see here. So to test that claim, let's take a look at the sticker. Yup, says 10th generation Intel. So we know that this is a 10th generation Intel processor. First claim, check. Now the next claim that we have to try out is a faster wake time from sleep. Now you're supposed to be able to get this thing awake from sleep in less than a second. That's crazy. So what we're gonna do is compare it to another laptop to see how much faster it really is. All right, we got our laptop. We got our Carl over here. Let's do this. All right, Carl, so basically what we're gonna do, right, is open the lid. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> so we're gonna pop open the lids. We're gonna see how long it takes to uh, power on or wake from sleep. One, two, three. Dang, did it just come off? It just came off. Project Athena, baby. <laughs> Let's do that one more time though. One, two, three. Yo, yo, just get this out of here, man. <laughs> just get this out of here. Now what's crazy about that, guys, it's that's my gaming laptop. Like one of the most powerful laptops that I have in here with dedicated graphics card, all the good stuff. But as you guys saw, when it comes to waking up from sleep, this thing is practically instant. So you guys saw how fast getting into the laptop is. And the idea behind all of this is to create a mobile experience that's pretty similar to a smartphone. You know, once we pull out our smartphones, we hit that power button, we're in, we expect to use the phone right away. And that's what Intel's trying to do with these laptops that are in the program. Jump right into them as if they were something like your smartphone. Now, another claim or guarantee that you can expect from these laptops is the inclusion of Wi-Fi 6. Now you might be wondering what's Wi-Fi 6 and how is it beneficial? Well, Wi-Fi 6 is going to become the new standard for Wi-Fi, which will allow you to have a faster and more stable connection, which is really great, especially if you have multiple devices on the Wi-Fi network. Personally, for me, that's a big deal because I tend to have a lot of devices connected. So making sure that my laptop has something like that is going to be really beneficial. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys though, I need to get my hands on a Wi-Fi 6 router. That's definitely something that's going to be coming more popular in the future. So it's good to have a laptop that can pretty much future-proof you to have a good Wi-Fi experience. Now, something else that's supposed to be guaranteed are these guys right here, Thunderbolt 3 ports. Now, I absolutely love having Thunderbolt 3 support on my laptops. Let me show you guys why. Okay, so over here, guys, this is our office. It's a bit of a mess, so don't judge. But right here we got our workstation, right? And this is where having a Thunderbolt 3 port is really cool because I've got a ton of Thunderbolt 3 devices over here. But it's just awesome to be able to take this, log in, plug that one cable in, and boom. We've got another display connected right to this guy and this is a 5K display. So only a Thunderbolt 3 port can make this one cable connection a reality. Uh, but that's not the only use case for you can use faster SSDs or external hard drives. It's just, trust me, a must have. I'm personally always just a little bit disappointed when a company includes USB type C, but not Thunderbolt 3. I always just wish that they would just, just go for the Thunderbolt 3 and I'm just glad it's a guarantee in laptops in this program. Now, the next claim that we have to test out is battery life. Now, this is one of the biggest culprits 
when it comes to claims that we just don't believe. So laptops that are part of the Project Athena Innovation Program are supposed to get over nine hours guaranteed. So that is going to be a really, really big and important test. So what we're gonna do is probably throw in the quickest real day in the life that you guys have ever seen and test out this battery and see what we actually get. All right guys, so right now it's about 10.45 a.m. Been using the computer for a little bit. We are currently looking at Twitter and Instagram. Uh, thank God for native social media apps on Windows. Uh, super happy about that. But we are also looking at about 96% battery life. I have to head over to the studio, gonna get some work done over there. And uh, we'll just see how it holds up throughout the day. Hey guys, so Ari here. I too am trying to cut the computer. I'm trying to help Judd because he's recording right now. And even though I've been on this for a little bit, right now it's showing. Okay, so it's 2.53 p.m. And it's saying five hours and 14 minutes remaining of the battery. So and it's at 76%. So I don't think we're killing this today. I'll try. Well, I don't think we're okay guys, so it's a lot later in the day. It's about 4.15 p.m. So got about 66% left. So just been using this for some web browsing pretty much, doing some emails right now. Right now it's the computer says another five hours. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep it going. All right guys, so right now it is pretty late. It's about 9 p.m. We got 21% left. So this thing has been with me all day. Now it's rated for nine out over nine hours of usage. And I do think that factors in standby time. And if we're factoring that in, I'd say that the claim is actually pretty on point. We started pretty much around 10 o'clock today and it's about to be nine o'clock. So that's almost 11 hours. Um, I feel like the claim is true if you factor in that standby time. Now, if we're not counting that and we're talking about straight up usage, I feel like you're gonna get more so in like six hour mark. So with regular standard everyday use, just web browsing and that kind of thing, it did its job. Now here's what I like about Project Athena. We're not getting told that this thing is going to last something crazy like 18 hours. Nine hours at least gets you in the right mindset that like I'm gonna get nine hours of usage out of this. And for nine solid hours, I was definitely able to do that. Heck, even more than that, as you guys can see. So you'll have the computer available for at least nine hours throughout the day. I'm pretty confident in that. So I gotta say guys, this has been nice. Having a laptop where you can just feel comfortable with knowing that everything that they promise is pretty much what you're gonna get. So the whole Project Athena innovation program, I feel like it's something that's going to be great for consumers so that they can buy with confidence. So when you're buying a laptop, make sure you're looking out for that Project Athena visual identifier. That way you know it has those guarantees. Now this laptop in particular, I actually really did enjoy my time with it. It's an awesome computer, has a nice 4K display that looks awesome. Uh, it has the 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor, so it's a powerful laptop. Uh, I actually really, really like the entire experience. The keyboard is awesome as well. And not to mention, you can throw this guy in tablet mode, and whenever you're doing this, you can pop out the stylus too, that's built right into it. So it's got a lot of nice stuff going for it. If you wanna see something a bit more in depth about this uh, laptop, let me know with a comment down below. Uh, but in terms of believing the specs that we're being told about, I think Project Athena is an awesome program, and I'm really glad that Intel is working with all these different manufacturers to start giving us realistic claims that we can actually believe. But let me know what you guys think. If you wanna know more about the laptop or Project Athena, I'll of course have links down below in the description for you guys to check them out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.